Approximately 50 years ago, John Exeter created his inverted pyramid where he warned of a deflationary collapse of the financial system as the U.S. moved from a gold-based monetary system. Long before we heard the words, you will own nothing and be happy, Exeter and his pyramid warned that the IOU nothings of our currency would fail and people would return to gold, or dare I say, come back home. Exeter warned that Keynesian economics and economists didn't understand money or debt and our financial pyramid would collapse back to gold. Before we start, I want to thank Pimbex, our channel partner, for the generous donation of three 2020 American Silver Eagles. And these three Eagles are very special because they come from their very first Monster Box purchase as a company. Stick with me and I will let you know how to enter to win one of these Eagles. In the meantime, let's talk about home and specifically going home. In a perfect world, every one of us would view home as this powerful and nostalgic place where feelings of belonging, safety, contentment are just stirred up. A place where memories are made and love is shared, be it the home we grew up in or the ones we've created for ourselves. The sad reality is not enough of us had or even had these homes like the Waltons and Leave it to Beaver, Full House, Family Times, or even the Huxtables. One of the things I always remember about growing up was my mom and how she made every place feel like it was home, regardless of where it was or what was going on. Especially as I got older and went off to college, no matter what, I always knew I could come back home. In stark contrasting for actually very different reasons. Around the age of 10, I also learned a very valuable lesson about home, and I'm going to quote her. She said, eventually you got to come home. Since that's a little bit out of context, let me explain. You see, I had what some in the black community would call a very traditional black upbringing, meaning I didn't get put on timeouts and I didn't get little spanks on the bottom. I mean, my mama had a black belt, but I don't mean like in martial arts. I know, I know, some of y'all will call that child abuse, but trust me, I was a child that needed a firm hand. Back to the story. While I can't remember what I did wrong, I remember her giving it to me good. And by good, I mean very bad. So in that moment, I decided to run away from my whooping and I ran as fast as I could. And I distinctly remember her yelling to me, eventually you got to come home. And ironically, that's where we are today as a country in a global economy. We've tried kicking the can down the road. We tried running away from the real issues, but eventually we have got to come home home financially. Exeter's pyramid tells us that home is gold, and I will also add silver as real money. As you've already noticed, Exeter's scheme or diagram features an inverted pyramid or a triangle where gold serves as this tiny base from which other financial products are built upon. This model has been updated by others multiple times over the years to include the ever-expanding classes of assets, or maybe more accurately, financial derivatives that have been created. Frankly, I believe this model is genius as it really speaks to the complexity of our financial system and really demonstrates how far we have moved away from what worked as real money for more than 6,000 years. This 2019 iteration of the pyramid illustrates how the further you get away from gold or real money, the higher the risk level increases. This is why so many of us in the metals community talk about having zero counterparty risk. What I also love about this model is you can clearly see how and why we are in in our current financial situation. Because it seems that we've done everything in our power to create riskier and riskier financial products that have only moved us further and further away from sound money, essentially allowing us to create money out of thin air. I want you all, every single one of you, to write down this site and check it out. I guarantee it will blow your mind. The site is democracy, democracy, but with demon. You can see that. I can't say it apparently, but you can see it. And when I tell you that this site will blow your mind, I promise you it will. Have you ever wondered what $10 trillion in stimulus cash looks like? Go there. You want to see what all the gold in the world looks like in comparison to the Statue of Liberty? Go there. Wait, wait, don't go there right now and mess up my metrics. <laughs> I'm kidding, but not really. At any rate, what I'm showing you on the screen here is from their site and it merges Exeter's pyramid and shows all the paper money in the world. Those walls you see are stacks of money to show the size comparison to objects like the Statue of Liberty, jet planes, skyscrapers, as well as all the gold in the world. And this is partly why I believe we will never return to a gold-based financial system. Those in power love the ability to create money 
and they would never willingly give up that power and be limited by the amount of gold they possess. These next slides I'm gonna show you are actually just me zooming in so you can see the fine details at the base of the diagram. It's just hard to read, even it's even hard to read on their uh, website. So you can't look at this diagram though and tell me that our whole financial system isn't a sham, a house of cards pretending to be made out of bricks. He's gonna show you the bricks. He'll show you they got straight sides. He'll show you how they got the right shape. He showed them to you in a very special way so that they appear to have everything a brick should have. But there's one thing he's not gonna show you. When you look at the bricks at the right angle, they're as thin as this playing card. His whole case is an illusion, a magic trick. It has to be an illusion, cause you're innocent. If you're receiving value from this video, if you learned something, if you've been entertained, if you love stacking or love Stackers University, could you please reward me and my effort by hitting that like button? And while you're there, please type PIMBEX in the comment section because that is how you will be entered into the Silver Eagle giveaway. Thank you again to the fellows at PIMBEX. You really are trying to change the game by offering the lowest possible prices with incredible two-day shipping. I told you all when we first started partnering with PIMBEX, I chose to work with them because they don't offer a bunch of overpriced non nonsense coins so that they can overcharge us as stackers. They offer the fundamentals or the essentials to grow your stack and help you get the most metal for your money. I'm not obligated to buy from them, but as I shared in my last video, I purchased my Platinum Eagle and my bar from them, but I also purchased this beautiful Big Five Element from them because they had the best pricing. Well, I hope that you believe me. Go there and check it out yourself and verify yourself. Right now, like most of the dealers, their cupboards are a little bare, uh, but they did reach out to me and say, hey, they rather have a little less inventory than pre-sale items to us. Us, which as you've heard me say over and over again, I hate the idea of pre-ordering medals. Back to the drawing. Since I'm giving away two of these three eagles in this video, I'm going to give you a second chance to win. And the second way is all you have to do is make another comment. One simple separate comment and you'll get entered into both. Two chances to win. One critique of Exeter's pyramid is that it frames the financial system through the lens of a central banker. Well, he was a central banker, so of course he did. But in doing my research, I found this incredible article on Seeking Alpha that was actually written by Robert Keats. Some of you may know him from Gold Silver Pro. Dude's channel is absolutely phenomenal. He is one of the few that I consistently watch. But in that article, he updated Exeter's pyramid to reflect what it would look like for us as individuals. I want you to remember this because I'm going to come back to this in a future video, uh, unless you want me to cover it sooner. If you want me to cover it sooner, let me know in the comments. I think with some discussing and tweaking, this could serve as a great framework, especially since on this channel, we try to focus our efforts on generational wealth. And I can't say enough good stuff about this model. Unfortunately for us, the same policy and lawmakers are that constructed this house of cards are the ones charged with fixing it. But as I learned from my mother that day when I ran from that whooping, eventually you got to come home. And guess what? The longer you try to avoid going home, the situation only gets worse. As Winston Churchill once said, you can always count on Americans to do the right thing after they tried everything else. We've tried almost everything else, but it seems that the central bank digital currency is the one last trick central bankers around the world are gonna try before they eventually have to come back home to gold and sound money principles. Which means until they've exhausted all other options and have no other choice but to come home, we stack. We stack because we know what is real money. We stack because we don't want a counterparty risk. We stack because they tried to fix what wasn't even broken. We stack to protect our wealth. We stack for our future and our future generations. We stack for the day of reckoning. We stack because financially, everyone eventually has to come home. What's next? You're gonna make two separate comments. One comment with only the word PIMBEX. And then you're gonna make another comment, either about why you stack, what about Exeter's Pyramid, or something you might have learned from this video. What am I gonna do with all you A-plus students that made it all the way through this video? I'm gonna tell you to always stack smarter and never stop learning.